Well, at one point, more than 2,800 people were without power in Bandera County earlier today after the Arctic blast moved in. We're happy to report that almost all customers have power again, but the utility says they saw record high use and had to use rolling blackouts to prevent a total blackout and says equipment failure was to blame. And the demand for heat is not over. This weekend, CPS Energy is expecting high energy demand. Ahead of that, they're asking customers to conserve energy while keeping warm. Ken's Five reporter Troy Kless has some tips to share. Ahead of this Arctic blast, CPS Energy says it has spent time on weatherization upgrades, anticipating that customers will be turning up the heat. So placing the temperature thermostat at 68 degrees, lower if you're leaving home, um, but don't turn the thermostat off, don't turn the heat, heating system off, or put it below 60 degrees. Also keep an eye on space heaters and don't use your stove or oven to heat up your house. The utility discourages using appliances like washers and dryers to avoid costs on the back end. If you can manage those large appliances and their uses over the next few days, you can manage better manage your energy bill. CPS also discourages charging electric vehicles overnight. Instead, charge them during the day. Would not charge them at night per se because right now at night we have uh, overnight we'll have those freezing temperatures and that's when the greatest demand will be on the system. But CPS Energy expects to meet that demand, but you can report any outages on their website or call the number below. Troy Kless, Ken's 5. ERCOT, ERCOT forecasters also expect the power grid to meet statewide electricity demand, demand tonight and conditions are tight right now. Matt Houston has been watching the data all day. He joins us now with the latest. Matt? Yeah, you see, we're fine at the moment, but the gap between supply and demand will be narrow probably for the next 12 hours or so. Texas is operating without one of its safety nets because the wind isn't blowing. Now that, of course, makes it feel a little warmer outside, but it costs the state lots of power. Wind turbines generated one third of the state's electricity last night. Natural gas, as you can see in the blue or rather purple here, will have to carry the load. You really can't even make out wind energy on this graph because of the color. It accounts for about 4.1% of these total electrical generation at the moment. So more important on those gas and coal plants. Some of them, though, struggled to run at full power today. That's only an issue, though, if more gas and coal plants go down. And so far, so good. Experts were a bit concerned also today because ERCOT underestimated how much power you would use yesterday, as if they published their forecast and forgot to include everyone in San Antonio or Dallas. If they'd missed like that again tonight, we'd be in more trouble, but their miss is only Austin size now. That needs to change. We need to get better at forecasting, but barring unexpected and extreme problems, your lights should stay on. Thank you, Matt.